filthy elves! You pollute the sacred relics of the mole people! Ah, oh, lay off! Go on, burrow back where you came from! Yeah! Go chew on an earthworm, you friggin' undergrounder! Ha! I curse you! Ooh, I'm quaking in me little elven booties! Why can't we all get along, Semeth? Because most of us are a little buddy. I'm mildly disturbed to see you torturing this elf. Yeah, elf torturing should be left to us professionals. Ah, uh, Icebox don't mind. He likes it, don't you, Icebox? <laughs> Icebox is very cooperative. It don't hurt till he's full up on jolly juice. Hey, Slushy, <laughs> get the dog in the suit. Nice hat, mister. What graveyard you dig it up at? <laughs> Maybe we came at a bad time. Excuse me, sir or madam. I can see you're busy muttering to yourself, but... Why you break my concentration on curse? You in cahoots with disgusting elves, no? No. Wait! Mishka Lisa Duja Fizzle Einzefeld. It is you, not boy. Sameth, she just called me nut boy. The one with great power from body to squeeze himself down to kind of nut, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's me, nut boy. Nut boy. Oh, rotten, stinking, disgusting elves. So long I am searching after sacred kind of nuts stolen from the tomb of Samunumak. To find it in the theater, to see it making with glorious magic, not the boy squished down with fat doggy friend. Huh? And then to lose it to grubby little sacrilegious maggot elves. Oh, for the strength of ten moles to crush them to paste. You seem upset. Would you like to talk about it? You, not the boy and fat doggy friend. You will come to aid of pitiful mole woman. You will take Kanonot back from nasty elves and bring it to mole woman. Sure. The first part, anyway. And perhaps there is something mole woman can do for you. We can't get through this gate till we read the inscription. It wouldn't be so hard, only they went and wrote it in some crazy picture language. Remind me what the symbols are, and I will tell you how the inscription reads. Well, as I recall, there was a foot, a snake, then two squiggles, and a bird. A foot, a snake, two squiggles, and a bird. How would you say that in ancient Egyptian? Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird. Works for me. Gee, hieroglyphics are easy. I didn't realize this was going to be one of those educational movies. Keep watching. We're in need of a hearty chuckle. Can you read us something from your hieroglyphic funny pages? Let me see. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Mole maids creating much merriment up and down the Nile. In first pan, husband Mole say to wife, You very angry with me, no? You can see it's true because wife Mole have scorpions crawling from the eyes. In second panel, husband say, It's because you caught me. Oh, how you say, uh, as, oh, as making the monkey dance with the beautiful temple mole maiden who have the sensuous quivering nostrils. And in the third panel, husband is falling over backwards from great astonishment when the wife saying to him, No, it's because you cut the cucumber lengthwise. <laughs> oh, you get it? Because oh, who cuts a cucumber lengthwise? <laughs> it's crazy, no? I mean, can you imagine what kind of crazy nut would... Americans have no sense of humor. You said something about the tomb of Samun Mac. Ah, oh, how I miss it. 
The happy pitter-patter of little scarabs, the smiling faces of the sarcophagi. Guarding the tomb has been our family business for many generations. Why did you leave the old country? Oh, tomb guarding business, not what it used to be. Nowadays, no decent tomb raiders to impale. So, family sent me here. I make it big in America, I send for them. Keep on cursing. Okie dokie. Watch this. Whee! Do not touch. It's visual component of powerful curse I am throwing on Elf out the window. He think he can make on me smart guy wise crack. Ha! We see how smart he feel after he become a wombire. An umpire? No, no. With the uh, uh, sucking of blood and the sleeping in coffins. Oh, a vampire. Slushy! <laughs> Look! It's... What's the matter? Yous get off at the wrong stop or something? Swells like yous generally steer clear of Little Arctic Circle. We represent Toymaker's Local 614. Stand up and be counted! No contract, no work! Calm down! We don't need that kind of trouble. We got a cushy setup here. Five hours off every other month. Oh, and we just last week talked the boss into taking the steel tip off the whip. Don't louse it up for us. Who's the dame you were fighting with when we walked in? Crazy old bat. Some cock and bull story about how the moles is the eternal guardians of the tomb of some joik. Sammy Matt. Yeah, and get this. Our can of nuts is really some kind of mumbo-jumbo voodoo drum in her creepy religion. And when I don't hand it over to her, she zaps me with the full-on gypsy kais routine. Tough break. Ah, oh, banana oil. That stuff might kill him in Moldavia or wherever, but it don't play in the U.S. of A. So, the curse doesn't worry you at all? Nah, us elves don't believe in that magical junk. We're here to gape at the depressing squalor of your miserable ghetto and congratulate ourselves on our comparative good breeding. Oh, knock yourselves out. What in God's name are you doing with that can of nuts? Wiken, what does it look like? Special job for Mr. K himself. We's in the toy and novelty racket, see? We swiped, uh, that is, we managed to acquire this nifty little gizmo here. Sports a couple of interesting features. We cracked a code and Boss Kringle makes a fortune selling it over the holidays. Which means big bonuses for the likes of us. Give it up. You'll never manage to reverse engineer that can of nuts. It only works in the presence of Max's ineffable aura. Right. I hate to say it, but you guys' auras are just plain effable. Ah, Guan, you chumps got no more claim on this can than we do. Only we got it, and we're keeping it, see? We'll see about that, you bonsai bandits. Oh, well, Maximus, I think we should go. Huh? They're only going to kill themselves trying to figure it out. Meanwhile, we've got the toy idea that's going to set the industry on its ear. See you in the funny papers, suckers. Wait a minute. The boss will pay big if we bring him a great new concept. And it's true, we ain't getting nowhere with this can of nuts. Tell you what, Polly, we might be willing to work out a trade. Give us your toy idea. If it's really a winner like you say, we'll let you have the can. No fuss. Point and click adventure games. You gotta be kidding. It's an inflatable dartboard. Uh-uh. Tried that last year. It was a bust. It's a board game. A top hat, an iron, and a little dog go around building hotels, and you're all trying to make each other go bankrupt. Interesting idea, but I don't think it'll fly. The kids ain't into capitalism nowadays. It's a coiled-up spring you push downstairs. Hey, I like pushing things downstairs. Nah, dumb idea. My first sausage stuffer. A fun way to dispose of leftover lunch meat, household vermin, and scabs. Ah, oh, please, you're making me heave here. My little pony keg. 
with braidable hoses. Hmm, kids love beer. Yeah, but Mr. K don't. As a matter of fact... You got nothing. We got something all right, but we're holding out on you. Gotta clear it with the boss first. You do that. Come back when you're ready to talk toys. And if your idea's as hot as you say, we'll kick the can over to you. Kick the can? <laughs> Good one, slushy. Shut up. Those round-headed rats, they can't do this to me. I, I mean him. Ah, that can of nuts belongs to Maximus by right of psychic possession.